Hey folks, today we have the IBM ThinkPad T61, and I got something in the mail for it. Some RAM, so we're going to upgrade this one. Now, you saw me upgrade the RAM in the IBM ThinkPad R51, and that one wasn't so bad. There was one RAM slot under the keyboard and one under the computer itself. Well, this one's a different story. As you can see, there are no RAM slots available, so what you have to do... is unscrew and go under the keyboard. Typical. So, let's get started. Turns out you don't have to do a whole lot. You just have to get the uh, palm rest and the trackpad out along with the a, uh, uh, fingerprint reader. And right under there, right under the trackpad, is the RAM. Now what's in this ThinkPad right now is some just pretty normal Micron RAM. One gig sticks. There you have it. It's just some DDR2 uh, PC5300 memory. PC2 5300. So let's get that out of here. And you put in the better memory. This is the memory I'll be putting in there. It's a set of these. It's some uh, two gig sticks. Branded by Kingston, made by Elpida, as you can see by the chips. So it's pretty much help a RAM, which is good stuff. So let's stick that in there and upgrade this puppy. I have to admit, this is actually easier than the uh, R51 because you can just put the you can just take the palm rest off, and that's really it. It's pretty easy, in my opinion. So that's it. That's the RAM upgrade. Oh, time to put this back on and plug it in and everything. One thing I have noticed is that DDR2 RAM these days is extremely expensive compared to what it used to be. This RAM cost me about $45 or so, and it was only for 4 gigs, whereas DDR3 is just dirt cheap. So there is a benefit to uh, having newer machines just because of the RAM, but DDR3 will be there one day too. Anyway, put it back in its dock. Let's turn it on and see if it recognizes the RAM properly. Yay! This RAM was tested, so I'm assuming it's good. Yeah, our Windows is starting right up. Now it actually makes sense having a 64-bit operating system on here uh, with this extra RAM. Uh, I hear these can go to 8 gigs, but uh, I don't think it's officially supported, so yeah. Plus, 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM is just ridiculously expensive, so it just really isn't wasn't worth uh, upgrading that far, I don't think, so... 4 gigs is fine for a laptop like this anyway that has Intel graphics and just uses uh, is just used for media consumption and schoolwork and things like that so it's really not that big a deal to me 4 gigs should be fine there you go Core 2 Duo with 4 gigs of RAM and Windows 8 Professional there you have it. So that was a, 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 a successful upgrade, I think. Might as well rate this computer since I haven't done that yet. So I will let this run. Well, I tried to get a uh, Windows Experience Index rating, but for some reason it can't get past a DirectX 10 test. Probably because the Intel graphics don't do that, but... <laughs> Whatever. I've upgraded the RAM to four gigs, and it should it should do nicely. So there you have it. So on the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T61, it's much easier to change the RAM. It's just under the palm rest rather than under the keyboard and under the bottom. So you know, it's it's better in a way, and it's worse in a way. I just wish I wish on boards like this they would just put it on the bottom and put a door on it, like every other laptop.
<laughs> so, there you have it, guys. Just a little, uh, just a little video there. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.